What's up guys, my name is Cheddar Chez and I'm bringing you some more Capture mediocre objective. scrimmage gameplay that we got against the Fear Girls Division. Um, in no way is this a reflection of them in a negative way. They're running new strats, new people, Charlie so... Secure. Yeah, they put up a hell of a fight and they kicked my ass plenty of times. But, uh, and also excuse how the way I sound, I'm still getting over being sick. So I'm sure I sound extra nasally right now. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys this video because it's a very close game and I had a lot of fun playing it. And, uh, as always, I had a few things to talk about, and they're obviously mediocre things that probably really don't matter in life. <laughs> but, anyways, I guess one of the first things I want to say is, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I've reached 250 subs, which is awesome. And I promise I won't be making these little thank you videos as often, because they're probably annoying to hear a bunch. But, yeah, I still can't believe that I have this many subs, so... Thank you everyone who subscribed as of recently, and all my loyal subs who've been there for a long time now. You guys are the bomb. Please don't unsub, because I love you very much. Much kisses. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, I love all of you. So, I will actually give you guys a set of video at 300 if you want it. I know I said I would do it before, but... Uh, I was kind of waiting on getting a new PC, which I don't think that's going to be happening uh, in the near future. Maybe not for another month or two. So, I'm thinking at 300, I'll give you guys a video of what I got right now to show you how it all fits together. It's a pretty crazy rig, in my opinion. And another thing is when I reach 500 subs, I will show you guys a documentary um, that someone had actually made about me for a school project, uh, and it concerns, like, cycling. So, uh, if you guys are interested in that, uh, tell your friends, tell your wife to come subscribe to me, and I won't creep in their window at night. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, another thing I did is I found some fresh new funky beats, so I think I'm gonna take this time right now to play a few clips from it, cause man, I just think they're so sick. So yeah, take a, take a listen real quick. Alright, come on now, who didn't think that was sick? I'm sorry. I just discovered Cutmaster Kurt, and he's a pretty beast-ass producer, man. I don't even know how you think of chopping up old songs and doing stuff like that. Uh, as you can obviously tell, kind of musical stuff, like... I don't know, it's not like... I don't know, I guess it's just cutting stuff up and pasting it together and throwing some awesome beats behind it. It really, really interests me, and I like stuff like that, so... I guess to say I got a, a different beat in the background right now. But yeah, uh, if I use the same song more than once, that's because my first like 40 videos, I used different songs and it like, gets kind of tedious to find uh, four different songs that I specifically like myself and to splice them all together and all that. So I'm just going to kind of be rotating through a few that I really like. And uh, yeah, I, I cranked the volume down so it won't be overpowering like it used to be. And the focus will be on my voice because I am the sex line operator in this commentary. So I guess another things I wanted to talk about, another things, another thing I would like to talk about in this video was uh, I obviously make mistakes and I'm still learning about this whole competitive stuff. But there was an update in the MLG rule set. They took out some game types and they banned rapid fire, which I am completely on board with and I do, do not think we'll be seeing 74 U's as much. Uh, I still think the 74U with grip and steady aim is a powerful weapon, but I think we're going to actually have some FAMAS on FAMAS gameplay right here. And I, I'm really on board with what they, uh, what they decide to do with that, so kudos to MLG. And they took out quite a few game types, and yeah, so make sure you go check out the forum, and you will see some updated rules set there, and the, the new map set that they're going to be run for the MLG variant settings. So let's see, um, I actually set out a few games last night because we had more people um, in the lobby than we needed, but I, I have no problem subbing out with kids to play because we all want to obviously play against good players. So um, when I was subbing out, we were I was trying to pull a fwiz and commentate and I know I annoyed a few people with it, but I actually had 
so much fun commentating uh, the matches that they were playing against the Fear Girls. Just like, I, I haven't laughed that hard in such a long time. And it was a really good time, and I'm, I apologize right now to the people who are watching this and were annoyed in the lobby last night, but me and Shrapnel were just saying the most ridiculous stuff, and I honestly don't know why I didn't put in a video application for that MLG commentator position. Uh, a few people said I was actually doing pretty well at it, but I mean, I was I was spot on on a Havana CTF game, or no, maybe it was Search, but yeah, it was on Havana, and man, I was, I even felt like I was kicking ass, I had all my callouts down, I was spectating different people, so it was a real good time, and I, I'm actually kicking myself that I didn't make a video, video application for that MLG position, I thought... Well, obviously. You can all hope, but yeah, that would have been crazy if I got something like that. That would be a sweet-ass job to watch gameplay of pros playing and then, yeah, give you guys some play-by-play -play detail and hear my ridiculous sex operator, sex line operator voice. But, yeah, I'm, I, I am raspy right now. I can feel it. But after these past few days of playing with the, the Fear Girls and Fuzzy and a bunch of other good players, I really, really, really enjoy scrimming over pubbing I mean I don't know what it is but but me and Didi both agree that pubbing almost can put you in a depression now it's not that it's easy because we all know we'll get into easy mode lobbies and then you know, other times you get into lobbies that are more of a challenge but man scrimming is so much more fun it's so much more balanced and fair and even it just really makes me enjoy playing the game like I could sit down for four hours and be like holy shit where did the time go Whereas when I'm pubbing, I'm like, oh, it's only 10 o'clock and we've been doing this for 25 minutes and it's boring the hell out of me. So yeah, I'm really, I am now 13th prestige and I'm probably going to crawl through this prestige because I'm spending most of my time in these private matches. These are way more enjoyable for me and really is giving me a new, new look at this game. I still think there's a connection issues, but uh, this is a good host, I, in my opinion. I don't have a problem if we're playing on a good host. So, uh, I'm having a really good time doing this, and I actually think it's going to improve the way me and DD play doubles. Well, mainly me. DD does fine on his own. He gets, he's, <laughs> he's better off playing. I'm better off killing myself every round, and he'll do just fine. But, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to all this private games we've been playing, and I really think it's helping me improve as a player. So, um, there's going to be a lot more of that. And, I mean, look at the score right here, 132 to 130. They're about to cap B on us, and yeah, it's this is a really close game. And yesterday, we actually had a game of domination where we tied the first half, which is nuts. These games turn out so close when we play against good people. But uh, the gameplay is wrapping up, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for listening, guys. I uh, look forward to talking to you soon.